Hi boys and girls. I thought it would be fun today for us to look at a clock together. This is a clock that your teacher would have in the classroom to be able to show you how we tell time on a clock. We've looked at several pictures of clocks together and I thought it would be neat to be able to look at how does a clock work? How do the hands turn? Do they always turn the same? So let's look and see. Now we've practiced a lot together. Tell me what time this clock says right now. 11 o'clock, you're right. The shorthand or the hour hand is pointing to the 11. So we know it's 11 o'clock and because zero minutes have passed, we say 11 o'clock. So on a digital clock, what would that look like? We would have an 11 and then remember we wrote two dots or a colon to separate the hours from the minutes. And then because it's 11 o'clock, we would have two zeros for the minutes. So let's look at how this works. As the minute hand moves around the clock, watch the hour hand. Do you notice it's moving too? As minutes pass within an hour, the hour hand moves forward. What time is it right now on this clock? The hour hand is pointing at the one and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So it's one o'clock. Now let's see what time it is. Hmm, what do we do now? We talked about this in our last video. The hour hand is between the two and the three. So that means it's still sometime in the two o'clock hour. It hasn't made it to three o'clock yet. So it's two o'clock and some minutes. Do you remember how we figure out how many minutes have passed? Well, let's look on my clock. We count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 minutes have passed. So we would say it's two, 30. Let's see what happens when we keep going. Watch that hour hand. As the minute hand goes around, the hour hand moves forward. Right now, the hour hand is at the five. Watch what happens if the minute hand goes all the way around the clock. We've made it halfway around. If we go all the way around, now what time is it on my clock? Our hand is pointing at the six and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So it's six o'clock because zero minutes have passed in the six o'clock hour. It's six o'clock. Look at that. Did you notice this, the hour hand moved just a little bit? Not all the way around yet to the seven? That's because the minute hand hasn't moved all the way around to a full hour yet. I stopped at the six. So what time is it now? The shorthand or the hour hand is pointing between the six and the seven. So it's still sometime in the six o'clock hour. It's after six, but it's not seven o'clock yet. So it's six something. How do I figure out the something part? How many minutes have passed? Remember, I count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it's 6, 30 on my clock right now. Did you notice that I said earlier, I stopped halfway around the hour? We're gonna talk more about that in our next video. Half of an hour is 30 minutes. And it's like the fractions that we've been practicing with. Half of a circle, half of an hour has passed. Halfway around, half of an hour has passed. We'll talk more about that next time. Keep watching your clocks around your house and seeing if you can tell what time it is.